One URI student accused of assaulting an officer at an off-campus party was arraigned today. The chaotic incident caught on body camera video from police, which led to his arrest and another student taken into custody. Kristen Burnell has developments outside Washington County Court for us. 21-year-old Cody Calkins faced a judge earlier this morning entering a not guilty plea following that incident that happened back on September 6th. A URI student walking out of the Washington County Courthouse Tuesday morning following his arrest earlier this month. As officers were dispersing the party, an officer was asking a female to see her ID because she was leaving with an alcoholic beverage. A male began interfering with the officer and it progressed to where the male was being taken into custody. While this male was being taken into custody and resisting arrest, the defendant grabbed the officer from behind and pulled the officer away, causing the officer to fall to the ground. Police say Calkins and 20-year-old Jake Degnum assaulted police officers who were trying to break up a house party in the Bonnet Shores neighborhood. 12 News requested and obtained that police body camera footage showing the chaotic incident. Another Narragansett also pulled the defendant off the officer and attempted to take him to custody. The defendant resisted and they fell to the ground. All the officers arrived on scene and the defendant was taken into custody. Both were charged with simple assault, obstructing an officer, resisting arrest, and disorderly conduct. Calkins was arraigned Tuesday with his bail set at $1,000 personal recognizance. One Narragansett Town Council member was in attendance. You know, I'm just here to support the resident of this town, all the hard work. There's a lot of people that have to put up with this, and I'm representing them. I hear it all the time about what's happening. And, you know, I just felt responsible that myself and, you know, some another council, Jill Lawler, had been here to, to uh, watch the proceedings. Calkins is scheduled to be back in court on October 1st, and the second suspect who was arrested has a court date scheduled for next week. Reporting in Wakefield, Kristen Burnell, 12 News.